Diamond Jubilees don't come along that often. The only other British monarch to reach that milestone was Queen Victoria. So over the next few months, there will be all kinds of celebratory parties and pageants. One gesture you've already heard about tonight is the Diamond Jubilee Medal. It's a special recognition for 60,000 Canadians. Tonight, the making of a medal. CBC News was given rare inside access to its creation. The Royal Canadian Mint. Take a peek behind the scenes. These days, there's just a little more work going on, a little more pride. The first reaction everybody had when they saw this medal was, wow, this is one good-looking medal. You know, there was a really, really wonderful sense of accomplishment. And not just there, nearby at the Chancellery of Honours, in addition to the coats of arms and badges they design, there are medals too, about 11,000 bestowed in any given year, but this year, many times more. You feel very honoured and very proud to be part of something that will be cherished by Canadians and a little piece of history. And, and from across the ocean, in a centuries-old factory, there's world-class craftsmanship going into weaving ribbon, thousands upon thousands of meters of ribbon. We're very proud of that, knowing that we're going to be made. It's going to go all around the world and be seen, and people are then going to know where it's come from and just take a pride in it. All of it to mark one extraordinary milestone. The Diamond Jubilee celebration is quite wonderful. It's the 60th anniversary of a, a long and distinguished reign by Her Majesty. January 31st, 1952. A princess traveled to Kenya as her father, the king, waved goodbye. Days later, the king died in his sleep, and young Elizabeth returned to England as queen. Only 25 years old, she was mourning a great loss, yet royal responsibility came before personal grief. I shall dedicate myself anew to your service service from the very beginning above all. The service I think has been her creed um, and I think she has conveyed that sense of service to, uh, to, to those with whom she has interacted. Uh, she has uh, seen uh, 11 prime ministers in Canada, 11 governors general and I think anyone who has uh, had the opportunity to meet her would come away with that sense of service uh, and that sense of uh, the importance of um, the guarantee of our freedoms, of our rights, of our liberties. And so for exactly 60 years, the Queen's unwavering dedication has been honored time and time again with celebrations. And with mementos to Canadians for their service to Canada. Commemorative medal often are to, to uh, thank people for their dedication to the country. The people who run the chancellery point to a long history of awarding medals on special anniversaries. The uh, silver uh, jubilee medal that was struck uh, in 1977 and was awarded to 30,000 Canadians for outstanding service to, to community. And the golden uh, Jubilee Medal, the last of the Jubilee Medal in 2002, that was awarded to 46,000 uh, Canadians. Now in 2012, the Diamond Jubilee Medal will go to 60,000 Canadians. This medal will be awarded to civilian as well as military and uh, members of uh, you know, protective services, public servants, um, so people from all walks of life and from you know, uh, all ages will be uh, recognized with this medal. A medal with its own remarkable design and beginnings. Just to put a bit of a time frame, we started to work on this project in the fall of 2010. Claire Boudreau is Canada's chief herald, part of the chancellery. She credits teamwork and a couple of initial intense weeks of brainstorming. Meaning we do napkin sketch. We, we want to know what we put on the medal first before asking to design it. And I would say that's the most fun part of what we do because we feel powerful. The obverse is quite 
obvious. You want to put her majesty, you want to put the symbols of her coronation, so she will be crowned. But you want to talk about the, the reverse, and we wanted to find something dramatic that people will look at the medal and they would say, whoa, I will remember this one. But when we hit upon the idea of putting the diamonds in the background, I think we really thought we had something special. Kathy Sabaran is the artist behind a number of historic designs, including the Arms of Canada. She's a perfectionist, needs to be. The Queen literally must sign off on her work before any project goes ahead. I've been here 20 years, so it's happened a lot. And I have to say, it, it doesn't lose its thrill, even though I've had quite a few pieces signed by the Queen every time it comes back. It's a little thrill to see that she's seen it. And yet every royal signature means the hard work is really just getting started. And if I want to just uh, smudge and change the direction of some of these strands of hair, I can... Over at the mint, engravers carve, sculpt. This is Kathy's drawing. Now here's some details that I want to sculpt. Bring Kathy Sabaran's drawings to life with 3D software. If there was a challenge at all in this project, it was just getting everybody to agree on the interpretation of the hair, maybe. Teamwork takes over again with notes back and forth to the chancellery. She wanted this area to be a little bit deeper so that there was more of a well, oh, yeah. so that you see you know, into the hair more. You know, there's a lot of dialogue, um, and this being such a sensitive project, there was more dialogue than usual. The work is painstaking, meticulous, as Christy Paquette creates multiple layers of detail in just 0.5 millimeters of relief. That's a lot more than usual for an effigy of the Queen. So there is more detail and more life to the sculpture. The crown just has lots of, uh, of interesting things going on in it. Her hair looks very organic and flowing. And you, you don't get that very often with the Queen because she's often on the side that's sort of secondary. She was made a focal point in this particular project, and it was, uh, I think she looks great because of that, the extra relief. Hi, everyone. Here we are. When everyone and everything is ready, a big event. Here we are. How you doing? Tell me how this works. The symbolic striking of the medal. <laughs> Presided over, of course, by the Queen's representative in Canada, Governor General David Johnston. I'm like a kid in a mechanical engineering shop. A lot of fun to see that coin stamped, and I love history. And this uh, represents a ceremony recognizing uh, 60 years of a very distinguished service to how we build a community, how we build a country, and all of the rights and responsibilities uh, and opportunities that go with that. Every medal gets the personal touch. About one and a half hours of attention to detail, starting in a room reserved exclusively for minting special collections. Then, one by one, each medal is carefully cleaned, fitted with a hanger, Well, remember that world-famous factory in England? They've been working overtime there, too, filling an overseas order for ribbon that's just a little more distinguished than most. We take pride because we know in advance what the ribbon's for, so we know the history behind it, and we know who's going to be wearing it. We know the Queen's probably got to authorise it, so we always put that little bit of extra special attention to it. All that ribbon in Canada now, the medals are finally being completed. But just one more thing. They won't be presented, not until the Governor General signs every certificate that accompanies every medal. Well, there are 60,000 certificates, and I'll sign each one. And I do that because that's a personal connection. We live in an age of technology, and we live in an age which is very complex. I think any time you can humanize something, you do. So I, I sign each of the certificates. And this is 
related to real people who are doing real things and just making this country a better place because of what they do every day. Making this country a better place. Service that's honored with a tangible token of appreciation. From the Queen, of the Queen. Recognizing at the same time Her Majesty's own steadfast devotion to duty now spanning six decades. And guess what? The people who brought you the Diamond Jubilee Medal are already thinking ahead to the Platinum One. <laughs>